Well, hello folks. Today we're going to be talking about this boy. <laughs> this guy right here, the Nautilus, the new uh, companion uh, that you can get from farming uh, Railjack missions on Neptune. Um, he's big, he's big and he's chunky and he, he's so big that he sort of occasionally clips into your character model. Um, no, but he's he's super cool and he's very unique. Should you go and get him? Should you farm for this guy? Yes. Yes, you absolutely should. Here. I will demonstrate why you should. See here? Okay, Corpus Crewman. Yeah, sure, whatever. Level 180. Boom. Check this out. And you're like, wait, what? But you're like, this is a sentinel. Sentinels can't kill things. That's not what sentinels do. Oh yeah, he also has this. He has an ability for grouping enemies together. So, you know. That's nice. Let's just... Ah, get rid of these. So... Now, so this isn't so much about the Nautilus itself as it is about uh, its sentinel weapon. That's the uh, interesting part here. Come on, come on. There we go. So... Uh, the Nautilus has a sentinel weapon that's called the Verglass. You get this weapon just when you build the Nautilus. Like, that's how you get it. And this weapon is unique. This weapon is unique because it is not designed the way that other sentinel weapons are. Uh, they've just taken a Warframe weapon and just poured it over the stats. Uh, like, just 100%. This is a Glaxion. That's it. That, that is exactly what this weapon is. It has identical stats to the Glaxion. Uh, and it's like a cold weapon. So if you were to compi combine this, or like, uh, uh, compare this with, you know, something like the Artax, right? The, uh, the, the, the ice beam weapon that you get from uh, your very first, uh, your very first, you know, Sentinel, the Taxon. And this is what you're used to seeing. This is what you're used to seeing, like, with, with, uh, uh, with, uh, Sentinel weapons. Granted, like, the, the Artax might be a bit of an unfair co uh, comparison, because, you know, it doesn't actually do, do any real damage at all. But you can take anything, like, you can take, the, sure, the Death Machine Rifle Prime or whatever, is like, it, it doesn't do any damage. Okay, so so this guy's a bit weird. Like, after he's done his grouping ability that pulls enemies together, for some reason he just doesn't want to shoot them. Maybe there's some sort of cooldown or whatever. So let's uh, simulate some new ones. But here, it's like... Yeah. This is how you normally imagine sentinel weapons to work. They don't do any damage, right? They're kind of pointless. But not this boy. Not this boy, the Verglass. And obviously the Verglass isn't unique to just him. You can you can equip that in in um, any Sentinel. But, but you get the, the Verglass from, from crafting the Nautilus. So you can either uh, buy the Nautilus from the market, or you can uh, or you can run Railjack missions on Neptune to get him. You can run Railjack missions on Neptune and uh, do the uh, the side objective, the one that's presented like at the beginning of the mission, like if you if you clear all of the optional content in, in the railjack missions on Neptune, you have a chance of getting uh, the Nautilus and the Nautilus parts. It's kind of a small chance, but hey, if you get duplicates and stuff, the the Nautilus parts are also uh, tradable between players, so you can get them and craft this boy. Now. Um, here is my my worry, in a sense, and also sort of my plea uh, to DE, because I'm worried that this isn't going to stick. I'm worried that th they're going to, quote-unquote, fix the Nautilus and, and make its uh, weapon in line more with other Sentinel weapons, that this might be some sort of oversight. Uh, because it's such a, a standout, right? But, but here's my plea to the E. The please do not do this. Do not fix 
<laughs> the fair glass. You know why? Because it's fun. It's really fun and it's really enjoyable. And for once, for once, we have a sentinel that feels like it's useful in combat. Otherwise, you know, you run sentinels not for their power because they have none. You run them for their utility. That's that's the only thing sentinels are for. Otherwise, like people just run Panzer Volpophilus nowadays because they spread sarin spores. But even when it comes to to just, you know, Kubros and Volpophilus and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 I haven't invested in this at all. But you know, stuff like Maul, it, it's just like why would I even? Why would I even put the the, the this in when like the, the damage is gonna be pitiful anyway? Your Kubro on higher levels of content, it doesn't do any damage. No. Its worth is for its like any pet or any companion, its worth is from its utility and like its its secondary effects. You run uh you run the the the, um, the shade because you wanna be uh you wanna be invisible, right? You run the uh, uh, the death cube uh, because you have the augment mod for it, and you want it to drop uh, you want it to drop uh, energy orbs for you. That's what it's for. You run the carrier to get more ammo and to break resource containers. Um, you run the helios. Hi, Lloyd. Uh, you run the helios because you want to scan things or whatever. But you don't use them for damage because they can't. Do any damage, and um, like the exception would be like the Panzer Valpophila now, which is why people actually use the Panzer Valpophila. But suddenly we have an option. Like suddenly you have a Sentinel that feels good to use. I ran this, you know, in in a uh, Kuvalich hunting mission, and it just it takes it takes things out. It doesn't do all the work for you. If you're surrounded by enemies, you still have to, like, put your work in, because this thing can only kill enemies one by one. You zap one here, zap one there. But it helps. It feels like it's helpful. It feels like it's, like, actually doing something for you. It's g it's great for, like, mining and fishing and stuff, because you just want to sit there and do your mining, and then some, some asshole enemy comes and interrupts you. And your other sentinels, your normal sentinels, they can't really do anything when that happens. Uh, but, but Nautilus here, he can just take those guys out for you, and then you can just keep on mining in peace, and it's great, it's nice, it's enjoyable. Right? So, it's not broken, but it's very strong. Put this guy on, on, on like, a defense mission in, in Hydron because I was, like, leveling some stuff up. And there were, like, two uh, two Mesas <laughs> in the group. And they and I, I made a point out of not firing my weapon and just letting my Nautilus do all of the kills. And they were, like, they were like struggling to, to keep up <laughs> with my damage output. They were, like, the Nautilus was killing things, like, about at the same speed as they were. Now, obviously, you know, hey, they weren't, like, playing seriously either, so... A Warframe will still be able to kill things faster than the Sentinel, but for once, for once in the in, in the years that I've been playing Warframe, it feels like my Sentinel is actually doing something. Otherwise, you run the Sentinel for its utility, but, but, but it's like it's not really helping you in any way in, in combat, it's just not doing anything. And that feels kind of pointless. Like, I don't, I don't care about my Sentinel in missions. I'm not trying to protect it, because why would I? It's not like, it's not doing anything for me. Hell, look at this. My, my normal thing, when I, when I run my, uh, uh, when I run my Equinox in missions, right? I run my Helios, even though I've scanned basically a a everything. And, and the reason for that... Uh, it's just because I can run the Deconstructor Prime. And the Deconstructor Prime counts as a melee weapon, which means that I can put in these uh, gladiator mods and for the set bonus, because the set bonus transfers over to me. So even though I put them on my Sentinel, I still get the set bonus. So that's what the weapon is for. The weapon isn't for doing any sort of damage, because it doesn't do any damage. It doesn't hurt enemies noticeably. Um... I'll show you, because I've, I've put a lot of resources into this weapon. Let's go over here and see, like, what's the damage like? 
Come on. He, uh, maybe I have to respawn to actually to actually get him to, to shoot at something. Okay, we're gonna do that. Kill these enemies. Simulate. Get some new enemies. Here, Helios. Kill something for me. See that? Okay, that's one. Uh, wanna kill something else? There we go, that's two. It's so slow. It's so slow. No. It's, it's just... It, it kills things so slowly that it's not... Like, it's just not doing anything for you. It's just not. But this boy! The Nautilus! Well, great. Now he did his ability. So now he has decided that he won't kill anything for a while. I should have just taken that mod off for this video so he doesn't do that ability. So he shoot more often. But hey, here we go. Oh, ha ha ha! Forgot. I put on the Artax. I was like, why isn't he doing any damage? He's not using the right weapon, people. It's gotta be the Verglass. There we go. Now. now. Look at this. Bam. 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 That's what you want. It's so nice. It's so good. It's so helpful. Feels great. So here, here is my plea. Here is my honest plea to the E. Do not fix this. Do not nerf the Verglass. What you should be doing instead is you should be raising the other Sentinel weapons up to be like it. Because currently, like th this is the weapon that people are going to be using. For good reason. It makes Sentinels useful in combat for the first time ever in the, in the existence of this game. There's no point in using another sentinel weapon. That does not mean... So yes, this is an outlier. This is so much better than any other sentinel weapon. You're never going to be using any of these. That's not because this is too good. It's because these are too bad. Straight up. It's because these are too bad and there is no reason to ever use them. Finally, you made one useful sentinel weapon. Please do not take that away. Buff these other things. Do give them the same treatment. Give them the stats of normal Warframe weapons, um, because this 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 feels good. It it feels strong without feeling broken. It doesn't feel broken, but it feels strong, and it's just it's just what I would have always wanted Sentinels to be. Like, even back when I crafted my first attacks on, and it's like, yeah, it's gonna help me in missions now. And it's like, it's not really doing anything, <laughs> right? That's, that's, that's your first impression when you, when you get one of these. And that stays, that stays. <laughs> Let Sentinels be more than just a utility thing. Let them actually help you in combat. Let this stay in. Don't fix it. Instead, make the other Sentinel weapons just as strong. It's for the good of the game. Please, 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 please. Don't fix it. Alright, so, hey. Let's look at how I actually built this thing. Because people might be interested in that upon watching this video. First of all, this is kind of important. Uh, I'm using a mod on the Nautilus itself called Fired Up. This is one of the, the uh, mods in the game that explains itself the least, <laughs> I'm gonna say. Because people read this and like, what, what, what... What does this even mean? <laughs> what does this even mean? What do you mean? Plus 60% heat at max overheat. Yeah. So overheat is uh, something that sentinel weapons have. Um, that accumulates over time. If you just shoot like a continuous spread of like... Pa -pa 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 -pa, you're just going to start getting more and more overheat. And, and different sentinel weapons have different overheat values... And, and then there's like a cooldown when you stop shooting. And the only way to know this is like going to the wiki and just checking what the different overheat values are. Because you can't actually find that out in game. Now the Verglass has an overheat value of zero. It immediately goes up to max overheat as soon as you start shooting with it. Which means it just is plus 60% heat 
at all times. So it's like a damage mod for your weapon that you put on your companion. So it works very well with specifically the Verglass. Now, um, for that mod to do anything, it can only amplify the heat damage that's already in the weapon. So if your weapon doesn't have any heat damage in it, the fired up mod does nothing. So you have to have elemental mods in your weapon that give it some sort of heat damage. But it can be combined. This is just going to add plus 60% heat to the radiation damage. That's fine because there, it it just increases the, the heat value. And it also doesn't um, stack the same way. Like if you, if you were to just put in like thermite rounds here in the weapon, that's one, that's one heat damage thing. And then you could maybe also put in wildfire, which is also more heat, and then they would just combine. Uh, this one doesn't do that. This one adds on top as if it was like another element. Uh, so it actually gives a, a bigger boost. So Fired Up does a lot to just increase the damage of the Verglass. Other than that, I've put a uh, Orogen Reactor in it. I've put four Forma in it, just to really like get the damage numbers up there. Uh, it's a beam weapon. You can put in heli heavy caliber. It's not going to do anything with the accuracy. That's fine. Other than that, it's the classic serration split chamber. And then just uh, a bunch of the 60-60 mods. Because you want to get that status chance up there to 100%. This does not have any crit. This weapon does not crit. So just don't build it for crits. Build it for, for status. And, and you'll be fine. Uh, and I just happen to like have a combination of radiation and viral. You can do different things if you want to. Maybe you don't want to run the primed cryo rounds. Maybe you want to have like some sort of heat viral thing going on. I don't know. I don't care. Th this does good as it is. Okay, it just it does big big dam big damage. So yeah, so yeah, the the Nautilus is fantastic. It looks cool. It's it's a bit big. <laughs> it's a bit big, a bit chunky, especially if you get like the accessories for it. It does sometimes clip into your character. It, it takes up a lot of space on the screen. Uh, when you run around and kill things. Uh, but it looks neat. It's a nice boy. And he's fun. He's fun and he's great and we love him and DE let him stay the way he is. Let the, the Veriglass stay the way it is. Don't nerf it. Instead, please just buff the other Sentinel weapons because this feels fun. It feels good. It doesn't feel broken, it just feels good. I have a sentinel that feels good to use now. I like bringing it along in combat because it's actually helping me. Let it, let it stay that way. Please, please D, let it stay that way. Don't, don't fix the Nautilus. He's perfect. He's a perfect boy and he must be protected.